Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Hit the like button if you like and please subscribe. I appreciate it so much and God bless you. Senators call for special counsel protections as Hunter Biden probe heats up. Well, let's see what's going on with this one. As the Hunter Biden probe heats up, Republicans in the Senate are demanding special counsel protections for the prosecutor investigating the alleged wrongdoings of President Joe Biden's son. Well, at least this isn't uh, got Trump in parentheses. <laughs> the group of more than 30 senators includes Senator John Crony, Corny, and a Republican from Texas, Chuck Grassley, Republican from Iowa, Minority Leader Mitch McConnell, Republican Kentucky, in a letter to Attorney General Merrick Garland. The senators wrote that the move is warranted because a criminal investigation involves the president's son. The September 19th of 2022 letter comes as highly credible. Whistleblowers are coming forward and sources are revealing the Biden investigation has reached a critical stage with officials weighing charges for tax violations, possible foreign lobbying violations, and other unlawful behavior. As you know, the United States Attorney's Office for the District of Delaware, led by U.S. Attorney D David West, has been investigating Hunter Biden. The senators wrote, There is no way of knowing the entire scope of the investigation, but evidence seems to be mounting that Hunter Biden committed numerous federal crimes, including, but not limited to, tax fraud, money laundering, and foreign lobbying violations. West was appointed under the administration of former President Donald J. Trump. Oh, Trump did get his name in there. <laughs> However, the Biden administration asked West to stay in his role to avoid the appearance of political interference, saying the DOJ has become polarized under Garland. The letter stresses it is imperative to have the protections to avoid the appearance of impriorities. In priority, yes. Given the politicization of the DOJ under your watch and the importance of avoiding any appearance in property, I-M-P-R-O-P-R-I-E-T-Y, impropriety, impropriety, yeah. maybe I got it right, <laughs> who knows. The undersigned requests that you provide U.S. Attorney West the full protections and authorities of a special consul, the letter said. This is one important action that you can take that will go a long way to restoring faith in our governmental institutions. Oh, we need some hope somewhere for our government, that's for sure. Considering FBI agents wrongly labeling accurate information in the investigation as false, former A.G. Bill Barr backpedaled on his stance against a special consul. I think probably it's time for Merrick Garland to give the current U.S. Attorney in Delaware the protections and the authority of the special consul under the department's regulations, Barr said. As a Senate hearing earlier this year, Garland defended the DOJ's handing of the Biden investigation. The investigation is being run and supervised by the United States Attorney in Delaware who is an appointee of the previous administration and continues on as the United States Attorney, he said, under questioning by Senator Mike Braun, Republican, Indiana. Hmm. Well, that was short and sweet. I can't wait to read uh, some more of that. I'll have to go search for it, probably. And let's see. Oh, boy, I don't know about that one. Well, here's one. This one I can relate to. Days ago, Joe Biden made headlines for stating Americans will be fine. Regarding inflation and other economic problems, this assessment comes as everyday people struggle to hold on to their jobs and keep up with the growing prices. 
Despite the current recession, the White House is very fixated on passing even more spending bills that will increase costs. Amid the negative impact that 2021's American Rescue Plan is having on today's inflation crisis, Democrats are still celebrating this law as a win. Oh, come on now. There's got to be some good Democrats among them. Somewhere. Now, a new poll of Disney World fans showed just how toxic inflation has become in people's lives. Priced out at Disney World. A poll run by the WFLA Fox 8 Reviews reveals that over 68% of Disney World fans aren't feeling the magic of the park. Now that it's so expensive to enjoy. Well, who could? Take all the joy and the life out of our lives, out of our children's lives. Mm -mm -mm. Meanwhile, this poll also reveals more than 92% of Disney World fans agree vacationing at this park isn't a luxury that every day American family can afford. Various fees tacked onto Disney World make it easy to understand this poll's findings. For starters, oh my goodness, ticket costs range between $134 now to $154 just for one day alone. Of course, all days are not evenly priced. Some are more expensive than others depending on the demand. Biden's economic economic economy whatever. Americans will feel the squeeze of Biden inflation this holiday season. Oh, with no doubt. No doubt at all. With 73% saying they're worried about rising prices. You know, in the olden days, Christmas was so much fun. Beautiful street lights, beautiful house lights, all lit up, so beautiful. Oh, how times change. On top of this, Disney World has hiked its cost as a result of inflation. Various personables, upgrades that people often enjoy when visiting the park are also now out of reach for many Americans. You can't purchase anything, can't afford it. In order to be able to attend Disney World and truly make the most of the experience, access to disposable income helps. Coin, coin densely, coin densely, or whatever. As prices keep going up, Americans assess the disposable income is quickly dwindling down. Well, people have had to use their savings accounts, their RIAs, to just make ends meet. I mean, what's wrong with Biden and his brain? Oh, well, don't ask that question. The financial issues documented in the WFLA Fox 8 poll are not mutually exclusive to Disney World. No, it's all over. Everywhere. Vacations in general are becoming harder for people to afford. With airline prices going up, many Americans are finding themselves delaying or canceling variations or vacations, excuse me, to put the money to better use. Even road trips are harder than they were before, owing to the increases in gas prices. Biden spends 40% of his time on vacation. Well, sure, why not? He was going to go spend with his family just like every other American across the country. Is every other American taking this many vacations from their jobs? I didn't know that. Really. The White House has previously stated it understands Americans' frustrations with the economy. However, the recent commentary from Biden claiming everyone will be okay proves that this administration does not understand. <clears throat> I could say more, but I won't. Let's see. Let me see what else I've got here. DeSantis, his, his program about relocating uh, the border crisis, uh, the uh, immigrants and stuff, uh, he's really getting uh, hammered down on that by others, but... I kind I kind of hope he gets across to others that, you know, Biden invited those people 
with no plans. And I've said that so many times. Somebody's got to help. And he's doing, DeSantis, to me, is trying to do his best. And I don't know if he's got anybody helping him, which I, I hope he does, to acquire and protect and settle this border crisis. It's got to stop. It, it just can't go on. Now this one here, I didn't uh, look in too much of this, but this is the one tempers flare between judge and Parkland, Parkland shooter defense lawyer. Mistrial requested. Now let's see if I can get a little read in on this one. The defense team all right, hold still. The defense team for school shooter Nicholas Cruz rested their case on September 14th without notifying the court, leading Circuit Judge Elizabeth Schuer, S C H E R E R, Shearer, to chastise the attorneys, attorneys for wasting everyone's time. Despite prior assurances from the defense team that they would call 80 witnesses, they suddenly informed the court that they would be resting their case after calling only 25 witnesses. When the prosecution said they were not prepared to deliver their rebuttal, Schuer grew in sense at the defense team. Well, I don't blame her. The defense team abruptly rested his case in the Parkland school shooter since Ning trial Wednesday triggering an outburst from Broward Circuit Judge Elizabeth Schuer. I mean, my goodness. To have 22 people march into court and be waiting as if it is some kind of a game, Schuer began. I have never experienced such a level of unprofessionalism in my career. When defense attorney Melissa McNeil attempted to interject, Schuer laid into her. Good for you, Judge. You've been insulting me this entire trial, Schuer stated, blandly taking your headphones off, arguing with me, storming out, coming late intentionally, if you don't like my rulings. So quite frankly, this has been long overdue, she continued, so please be seated. McNeil may have taken a seat, but she was not done with the issue. On Saturday, she filed a motion to remove Schuer as the judge on the case citing animosity between the two that is long held and has infected the entire trial. How childish can we get? How childish? The motion also included a request for the judge to declare a mistrial. Cruz included an affidavit in the motion stating his fear that the court is biased against my attorneys and me and I will not receive a fair and impartial trial. Cruz pleaded guilty in 2021 to murdering 17 people at his former high school in Parkland, Florida. The current jury trial is to decide whether Cruz will be sentenced to life in prison or death. I mean, he murdered 17 people. What is going on here with that attorney? She's supposed to defend, defend him, but yet she fights with the judge? What, what does she expect? She's defending a murderer of 17 people. Oh. Oh, you know, <laughs> you could just sit back and just kind of pull your hair out. You really could. Some of these things that are going on in this world is absolutely crazy. I mean, that, that person killed 17 people. <laughs> Mm. Well, people, I'm going to call it a night. I want to go look up some more, some more headings and titles and see what I can come up with. You know, this, some of this stuff just floors me, and I know it does you too. It's just, it hits the heart, and it hits the brain. What the hell's the matter with these people? And why... Do these kids or anyone have to kill somebody? 
what what drives them to do that? Drugs? Probably. Being stoned. You know, once they get on those drugs, and everybody knows this, I'm not telling you anything new. But kids don't understand that once they do these drugs, it fries their brain cells. Has anybody ever told them that? But then they're so far gone, they don't care anymore. They're hooked. And another video I did, I think it was yesterday, you know, protect your kids. Watch your neighbors. Watch your kids' friends. I mean, there's all tail tying signs if somebody's been into drugs. Please beware. Please take care of your children, your neighbors, your, rela your relatives even. I mean, don't disclose your relatives. Oh, they'd never do that. Oh, no, don't think that. No, don't you ever think that. Because they, if they get hooked. You know, uh, years ago, and uh, it probably still now, but now it is uh, kind of called, what, a drug, drug rape pill or something when you're going out on a Saturday night and just trying to have a good time with your spouse or your friend or your companion, whatever. They can slip one of those pills into the, your uh, drink, you know. And it, it just, you don't know where you're going, what you're doing. And that is just unbelievable. And people with criminal minds like that, that are out for rape or murder, or whatever, it only takes a pill. That's all it takes. Good night, everybody. I love you. Stay safe. Stay healthy. And please beware. Watch for signs of drugs ingested by someone you might know, even your own children, even your own spouse. I don't know how many I've heard say, I didn't even think he was on drugs. I had no idea he was on drugs. Know the signs. The enlarged pupils. Change of habits. Argumentative. Sleepy. Um, not thinking straight, you know. Because they destroy the brain. Those drugs destroy the brain. God love you. God bless you, and good night.